Well, since 2015, 12 News has followed the story of Jacoby Bergeron and his battle with Batten's disease. He lost his battle in January of this year. 12 News' Linnea Lewis spoke exclusively with his mother and community members about what they'll remember most. Linnea? Well, I got the chance to meet Jacoby on a few occasions, the first being his 16th birthday in 2018. Although his battle with Batten disease was a long one, he never let the pain he was feeling inside get his spirits down. Jacoby Bergeon was a fighter and a friend. Batten disease took a toll on him physically and never took his smile because Jacoby's spirits were always high. Jacoby loved people. The more people, the merrier. Um, I believe that's why he loves school, because our home life was very lonely. With the deadly neurological disease, no two days were the same. Jacoby's mother, Dixie, found support through other families dealing with the same thing. A Facebook page became a lifeline. I could FaceTime another Batten mom who had been through what I was going through or who was going through what I was going through. And so in that sense, it was great. The platform gave the family a small local group of support. Regina Beeson and her family came across Jacoby from a Facebook post about him wanting a recliner. From there, these two families have been inseparable. Regina shared her favorite memory with Jacoby from summer 2019. And he stood up and he had the biggest smile on his face. And he started to walk across the pool. And in that moment, everything in my life just completely stopped. Nothing mattered to me in that moment because it was just sheer joy in his eyes. One of Jacoby's joys was being around police officers. Petto Police Department has been a part of Jacoby's journey since Shop of the Cop in 2015. He would come up here and visit. Dixie would bring him up here and visit sometimes, and he would come and see everybody. And he actually bonded really well with David Bassett, who was his Shop with a Cop each year. And um, he could see David anytime, and just he would light up. He would also light up at school. Because Jacoby lost his ability to talk and walk, he was placed in Petto Lower Elementary elementary school. But in the classroom, he was more able than ever. He bonded with every student from elementary to high school and even participated in school activities. He tried to do things where he wouldn't lose uh, some of the abilities that he had already previously lost, even before I met. And so I just always try to do things to keep him moving and keep him with the already the great characteristics that he had. Well, as you can see through the pictures and video, Jacoby was loved by everyone. Tomorrow, we'll dive in deeper with his doctor about Batten disease and how Jacoby was able to beat the odds by living five years past the life expectancy. Melanie?